So welcome to a tutorial. This tutorial is how to make a font, your own font, from start to finish using Inkscape. So how to design it and then how to get it to function as a font that you can use in a word processor or uh, if you go to here and you click on the, it will appear on the font list here. So uh, why I did this tutorial, the motive behind it is that it's quite difficult to find any information on how to create a font using Inkscape and then get it to function as a font. Some people go some of the steps of the way, but they don't seem to go the full way in developing a font. So hopefully this tutorial will guide you all the steps that are necessary. So let's get started. First of all, you need to download a template. This template is found at www.123speak.com and you just, uh, in the search box, type font. It's under the Skills for Life menu, but uh, you will find it here. Then click on the link here and there's an attachment here which has the file if you click on it it will download as a svg file okay uh, mine should be on my desktop so i already downloaded twice but i'm just going to start again why this um, template is necessary is that it uh, helps you when you need to position the font because uh, like in a font there is let's show you uh, let's do DNP just select them and make them a big size I'm just going to use Arial for now just as an example okay gonna have to get it much bigger anyway I'm not I don't need to I'm just gonna show you here but okay in area and I've not positioned this perfectly okay this is called the ascender anything that goes above the X height line the X height line kind of uh, differentiates small letters don't have any kind of tails or ascenders <laughs> I don't know what you call them anyway this is called a descender and this is called an ascender this is called the baseline kind of a, an imaginary line where you write on and uh, your font kind of fits between these so having a template makes it a lot easier when you get to take your font uh, to be made. So first of all we need to go through the how, how to make the font. Also this uh, template will help you because uh, later you will need to go to SVG font editor and if you don't have this template there won't be these glyphs in order to to enter in your font. So I'll show you this process a bit later but let's get started with the designing process. So first of all make sure your snapping is turned on. So first first step is we need to make a box to work within. I'm just gonna I try to make my box kind of uh, like this just holding uh, down the control button and dragging out. We don't really need the outline. Okay, I'm gonna just turn off the outline. To turn it off, you can just go to this X button and go to uh, set to stroke. So now we don't have any outline here. We just have a box. And then for our ascender and descender, I'm gonna make another box, but this box is gonna be so I'm going to press Control D to duplicate. I'm just going to not hold Control, and I'm going to 
drag this up and it should snap onto the top so if your snapping is set like mine it should snap like this and then I'm just going to take these things down uh, just a little bit away from this box because although I'm going to although later we're going to put our font here uh, we're not going to design in this area okay so I'm just going to put this here and first draw out a circle a completely round circle so I'm going to hold down of course your font can be different there are a thousand ways to design a font but this is just how I'm doing it for now just to show you okay we don't need uh, this to be filled so we go over here and we didn't need it filled but we wanted to have a stroke that was fine what we just did and then we just press stroke set stroke to black okay now you can see the black stroke and it should be fitting within the box right then we come uh, sorry this one fill and stroke and go to stroke style and we want to make this a thicker circle because uh, our letters are going to be a bit thicker you could do a very thin letter if you wanted but it's up to how you desire your letter to be I want mine to be a bit thicker so let me see if I, that will do I think that's too much well, maybe it'll be okay yeah, that should be okay for me. So I'm just setting it to 100 here, but I'm, it's going to change now because I'm going to hold down control and I'm going to get this kind of to fit within the box. Right, it's not really snapping here. Let me just see what I need to turn it on. I should turn on that one, I guess. I'm not sure. Okay, well, I know if I do this, it will snap. Sorry, there's uh, several ways to do things. And I'm just going to do this. You can always get rid of these lines later by just dragging them up to the top and dragging them to the side. Okay, so there. That's great. As you can see, uh, if, you're, if you're having problems with opacity, I've set mine to 45. You could set it to some number, but it should be below 100 at the moment. Now we can take note of this. This is uh, 81.35. That's the thickness of the circle now. So we just copy that. Control C. It's going to make a line that goes down to make the back of the back of the A. And I press uh, enter just to confirm. And then I go over to the stroke here and I enter in the same number as before control V 81.305 and that sets the thickness now because this is on a square here I'm gonna do a line and distribute well it's actually snapping this time so I'm just going to position it like this then I'm going to duplicate this because uh, D is very similar to an A. Okay, uh, one moment. Just move my, move our square to the side. So, uh, control duplicate and move this to the side as well. We're going to use that later to make a D. Okay, we're going to duplicate this circle many times because the circle is used a lot in letters. Control D, Control D, Control D, Control D, and we're going to move this just uh, to the bottom. It's going to become our junkyard for for the letters. Okay, then uh, going to attach these two letters together. Now, at the moment, if you see the stroke goes through the middle and the stroke goes through the middle here that's useless uh, for creating a font so to make a font we need to uh, highlight both of these go path and stroke to path so we're going to turn it into a path now now if I click on this there are two paths there's no stroke going through the middle 
and here there's a, another path. Now these two paths, uh, two groups of paths, I don't know what you call them, but anyway, they need to be joined together. So Okay, uh, so I didn't select both, so that's why it didn't uh, become unionized. <laughs> Is that the right word? Unionized? Okay, so now we have an A. Okay. Then uh, B is the next letter. So B is very similar to an A. So I'm going to just control and duplicate that. Move that along. We have our template here. I'm going to just position this within the template. I'm going to flip it the other way around. Sorry, there's a dog barking in the background. Hope it's not annoying you. And we're going to drag these up. Oh, sorry. And we're just going to uh, position them at the top of our rectangle. Okay, so uh, we dragged up those ones. We have a nice B now can position our B next to our A. Of course there should be spacing, but that's uh, another matter. I'm going to deal with that later. Now we need a C. So sorry, control C. Just going to move this out the way. I'm going to use it later. But for now, we're making a C. Okay, so if I make a C, it should have like a part which is cut out here. So I'm going to use a square just to cut it. I'm going to duplicate the square, move it over here. Uh, hold down control. Okay, I'll get it to, if you click on the square again, it will turn to transforming rotational. Then I'm holding control now and I'm just moving my mouse and uh, just thinking which is what it C looks nice I think it's quite good if it's just like in the center so I'm gonna move our square along here and get it to be like this so that the corners go through and it's central. I'm not going to be too exact uh, because I think it'll look fine anyway. Okay so now to make the C I need to take this away from the C. At the moment this is not what we want. So we need to change the change them both to stroke to path and then exclusion and then we need to get rid of these ones. have something that looks like this which is a uh, quite a nice C okay then uh, D is simple flip it around E uh, will be a little bit more complex just move that out the way up here so we need this kind of shape so I'm going to bring it over I'm going to bring it up 